Hey family, coming with a quick word, a quick message here to encourage someone, here to inspire somebody with this message today. This message that the Lord placed on my heart, y'all, um, this is coming from like the last like week or two weeks. I've been watching like a lot of things. I've been coming across like movies and television shows where like, um, it's been focusing on people like outcasts, like people that are different, people that don't fit in, people who are considered, you know, like the outsiders, the outcasts. And the Lord was just dropping this message in my heart. Like as I was um, reading, as I was meditating on his word, reading um, when he called Moses and God said, get on this camera and encourage somebody. So this message is for you, for you that feel like you are an outsider, you know, like being chosen. We all know what comes with that. When you're chosen, you don't fit in with everybody. God has called you for something higher. God has called you for a higher purpose. You might have never felt a uh, fit in with certain groups and certain people you might have always felt like you've been rejected your whole life you just might feel like you're not qualified you're not equipped like who am i i don't i'm not i'm not good enough i i'm i, I don't i'm not perfect i haven't been here I, I haven't done that i don't have this i'm not this i'm not that this message is for you and god is saying that you are qualified if it's something that god called you to do understand that you are qualified and that God is with you and that he's going to be with you. Be obedient. Be obedient to that call. Don't worry about, don't sit around trying to figure out, oh God, who, who am I? Why am I? Why are you choosing me? If God chose you, if he said it's you, if he put it in you, if he told you, you going to go do this, I place this on the inside of you. You going to accomplish this. You going to do this. You better get up and you better go after what God told you that he has for you. And, and he, he wanted me to bring up I, this, like I said, his message, I was, um, oh, God is so good. I was, um, I was meditating on Exodus, the burning bush moment. Y'all, and I'm sorry, I can't remember what verse it was, but it was the verse where um Moses, when you know, when God told him what he was going to do, and he told him he wanted him to go to Pharaoh, go into Egypt and everything. And then you remember, like, Moses was like, who am I? Like, God, who am I for you to be telling me that that's what I'm about to go do? Who, like, what you mean? Who am I? But this was the thing. This was the revelation that God gave me. When, when Moses asked God that, when he said, who am I? Notice God didn't respond back explaining to Moses who like who he was like oh Moses you you probably don't understand this but you're you're powerful I place this on the inside of you you're you're actually this you're this. like he didn't spend any time telling him like he could have he could have sat there and, and encouraged him in that moment and told him like okay look I created you to be like this I created you for this I placed this on the inside of you you probably don't even realize this yet you probably don't even realize you have all this on the inside of you God didn't even waste no time doing that what did God tell Moses he told him I will be with you he said I will be with you meaning that all that don't even matter. I don't even have to sit here and waste time telling you who you are and all just knowing that I'm with you. That's all that you need. You don't need anything else. You don't need any clarity. You don't need you don't need that. You don't need me to sit up here and tell you that. You don't need for me to sit up here and validate you. You don't need that. All you need to know is that I am with you. So if I'm calling you, if I'm telling you to go do something, I, I understand that you're afraid. I understand that you might think that you're that you're not qualified. I understand that you might think that you're not this and you that, but I'm calling you. And just knowing that I'm with you. You is all that you need. That's all that you need to know. That's all that you need to be able to go do what it is that I'm calling you to do. Nothing else even matters. I'm with you. I'm calling you to do this. So I'm encouraging you. That's what God is saying. He is with you no matter what it is, no matter what he has called you to do. God, God does not call the qualified. He does not call the qualified, but he qualifies the called. He qualifies the call, meaning you might be somebody that 
you might have been through so much in your life. You might feel like you are you are damaged goods. You might feel like you've made so many mistakes in your life. You might feel like, man, God, I ain't been to college. I don't know nothing. I done been I done did this. I done been a sinner. I done stole. I done prostituted. I done did this, that, and the third. God doesn't care about that. God doesn't care about that. And that's the thing that I love about God. That's the thing that I love about God because God will take the most broken. He will take the most unqualified, the ones who don't even think like you be looking like God. What? Who Who am I, God? Who, what you mean? What you mean? That's what God is saying to you today. If it's and you know it, you know what that thing is. You know what God has called you to do. It's time to get up and to move into the things that God has for you. And to take that a step further, Moses was telling God, like, you know, because he just felt like he was so like, what what am I supposed to go do? What am, what, what am I supposed to be doing? And God told him to, to look in his hand, to use what he had in his hand. Moses didn't have all this fancy stuff. He didn't have all these things. All he had in his hand was a staff. But God said, use what's in your hand. That's what God is saying today. He's, that's what he's saying to you. Use what's in your hand. If I am calling you, it's something right now in your hand. It's something right now in the front of you that you might not even realize, that you might not even, you know, you might not even understand that it's something literally right in front of your face, right in your hand that God is calling you to use that he's calling you to use. It don't have to be fancy. It don't have to be perfect, but it's in your hand. Your gifts, your talents is in your hand. What God is, is calling you to do is in front of you. It's in your hand. He's calling you. You have to get up and you have to go after it and you have to be obedient. Don't be afraid. Don't, and don't sit around thinking that you, that you not this and you not that. Don't sit around feeling like that. Don't sit around thinking about that. God says, God says, you are qualified. He says, I am with you. So you won't have no reason to be afraid of anything. You don't have no reason to be sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't have, you don't even need to be questioning anything. Why are you questioning? Why are you questioning yourself? Why are you questioning whether or not you're qualified or not? Why are you questioning if you are powerful or not? Why are you questioning those things? When God says, I'm with you. I'm with you. All you have to do is trust me. All you have to do is be obedient. Get up. Get up and do what God. Pick up your mat and go. Whatever it is that God has called you to do, don't be afraid. Get up and go after it. Be obedient. And look at all these things that came from Moses. He was, he was, he was, he was nobody. He was nobody. In his mind, I'm nobody. Who am I? I'm over here minding my business with my flock and my family and my kids. He would have never imagined that. He would have never thought that he would have been leading, like leading the Israelites, leading people, from, leading the oppressed. He led the oppressed out of that land. He never, he probably never would have thought that that's what he would be doing. And that's what God is saying to you. Like, you don't even know. You don't even know what I have called you to do. You don't even know, like, you, 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 you just, you thinking that, okay, God, you, you telling me to do this. I don't see this. I don't understand why you telling me to do it. It's not even for you to understand. It's not even for you to understand. God said, get up. You don't know what's on the other side of being obedient. You don't know what's on the other side of me calling you. You don't know what's on the other side of you going forth, getting up and going forth. God said, use what's in your hand and know that I am with you. I love you guys. I hope that this message encourages you. I can go on and on, but I wanted to keep this one short and sweet and cute and just give you what God had gave me. I hope that this encourages you. Make sure you guys check out my second YouTube. I have two YouTube channels now. The second one is called Healing for Destiny. Go. All you got to do is type that in, Healing, Healing for Destiny. Make sure you check out that YouTube channel. I have a lot of content and a lot of videos coming on that channel. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video.